Oh, play the music. Here we go. Now, if you're a fan of Australian soap opera Home and Away, then you're in for a real treat as this morning we're joined by one of the programme's most popular stars, Dan Ewing, who plays Riverboy Heath Braxton. Dan will be in Ireland for the next month, and as part of his trip, he'll be marking the opening of Summer Bay Man Point. Organiser Orla O'Neill is also with us to tell us a little about that. Good morning to you guys. Hi. How are you? Good morning, Good morning to you, Dan. Lovely to see you. You're causing quite a stir in TV3 this morning, I have to to say there's lots of young women and a few young men outside also <laughs> <laughs> having quite a few hot flushes it's been a very uh, friendly reception <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for bringing the weather with you mate i didn't bring it from sydney i'm telling you right now our it, weather is nothing like this is crazy i had to buy flip-flops and shorts in ireland I, could buy, I, 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 I bought three pairs of black jeans and my boots i did i had to buy flop flip-flops in Ireland. So it's now amazing. now how we know how Dan Ewing travelled, <clears throat> three pairs of black jeans. Well, I, I, I didn't assume that I'd be getting 30, 30 degrees today. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be fab. Yeah, yeah. No, it really is nice. I mean, literally, you are one of the most popular characters in, in Home and Away, but you were in it a couple of years. Was it 07 as a yes. different character? Yes, yes. Um, I'm sure there's footage still there somewhere. Um, Ruben uh, has, was clean shaven and uh, slightly longer hair and much skinnier. So Because uh, one of the girls... Thanks for that, Alan. Yeah, no, because... <laughs> I tell you why, Dad, because one of the girls outside, Sinead, uh, one of our producers, sort of said, he obviously wasn't as good looking back then or as buff. Yeah, I, <laughs> they would have kept him in it. I think they just recycled through every Australian actor, so they have to <laughs> give me another go. <laughs> is, it, well, is it a bit like that down there, like that every, like all the Australian actors, they want to be like on Neighbours or Home and Away? Um, Home and Away has just gone to a whole new level. Mm. It's, one of those, it's one of those shows that uh, it's not the same show as it was five years ago, ten, ten years ago, or 20, five years ago, which we just celebrated. So it's a, uh, it's a really great platform, and you, you get through some really great storylines, and it's shot absolutely beautifully, shot on the northern beaches of yeah. Sydney. It's a really good... Um, it's a, it's a really good snapshot of Australian beach culture. And Heath Braxton, the character you play, he's, he's a, I, I, I know he's becoming a bit better, but a real bad boy. And people sort of saying that you're such a really nice guy in real life. Um, Heath is certainly, the things I like about him, he does keep a certain edge to him. Mm. But that's, what you, that's what's very interesting, because he's a, he's a family guy. He loves his daughter, and he certainly loves his partner on the show. So it's, and it's basically the storyline in Ireland now, because we're a bit behind you, is that Ricky and Tamara have been kidnapped, and that's a big story. <gasps> Do we know? And there's a big storyline for the Braxtons, yeah? Yes, someone, uh, someone, one of the Braxtons doesn't come out too well out of that storyline. All right. I'm not saying they're disappearing or anything, but it's, no, it's not looking good, so people have to tune in to find out. Okay, very good. So tell us about today and what's happening quickly. Before, we've got lots. We asked our viewers to send in some questions, so we've lots of questions to get through, so I will ask you that. But you are going to be down in Man Point today for Summer Bay, so Orla, tell us a little about that. Well, Summer Bay is um, an indoor and an outdoor a beach adventure centre. Thank God, says you, with I the know, weather we're having. I know. <laughs> Normally we'd be dying for the indoor. Exactly, exactly. But we have lots of activities that are outdoor as well and there's something for absolutely everybody. We have segways, we have bouncy castles, we have beautiful beaches, we have uh, bungee trampolines, zor balls, climbing frames, absolutely everything, something for everybody. So it looks fantastic, and you're going to that the summer camp is on the it's on all all summer. Obviously. We've had summer camps um, that have been running, and the kids just seem to absolutely love it. Um, but it's open to the public as well from ten o'clock every morning. Okay, brilliant stuff. And so you can just can you go online and find out about it, or you just arrive? You can go arrive? online summerbay.ie, or you can just pop in any time at all. We're open seven days a week. And there's a beach party today at two o'clock, and Dan is there going is. to make a personal appearance. And uh, we had uh, Dan. You have to do this very quickly could you give a shout out to Gillian and Gillian has been queuing since 7 a.m. this morning at Man Point Gillian. to see you so <laughs> she'll, be, she'll be eager to see you when you wow. get down for Gillian? two o'clock Hi, Julian. So there you go. Two. You are crazy. Yeah, I she's love been you. I'll there see you since. Very soon. Yeah, she's been there since seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> wow. Uh, to see you. I mean, I literally, and you've been since you've been here. I, I, I saw that you've been tweeting about our hurling, and our, I know you're a big sports guy. You were looking at our hurling at hurling. the weekend. I saw. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. I saw Dublin. Um, yeah, hey, we won. Go away. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, I, I've never seen hand-eye coordination like that ever. And I, I play basketball. That's my my sport. You're, but that hurling game, that's not easy. Like, no. You can't just pick up a ball and, and run around. with it. Yeah. It is absolutely amazing. And it's so brutal. Well, I've met a few ex-hurlers, and um, there's not a lot of teeth left. <laughs> no, that's not one of those pretty, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a fantastic game. You're, you're an accomplished sportsman. Now, come on, listen. Okay, you're saying, 
I, I have a list here. Football, rugby, basketball, as you say. Cheerleading, tumbling, swimming and volleyball. It's a beautiful thing about Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> None of it's true. What is tumbling? I don't... What's tumbling? So you haven't done any of that? Cheerleading, you know, no. I might have dressed as a cheerleader. Hey. <laughs> well, no. that, was a drunk, that was a drunken <laughs> night at a rap party somewhere, wasn't it? There's some funny things out there on the internet. What a, what a great thing it is. <laughs> uh, now, here's uh, some of our viewers, OK? Right. Mary English, Ed, does he... Does he get fed up wearing vests on Home and Away? Not with a body like that, I'd say. I, <laughs> it's really nice in 30 degree weather. In 30 degree. Um, Are your tattoos real? Um, I've got a couple of real ones myself on my right hand side. So I've got the Australian uh, Southern Cross here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's beautiful, it's on our flag. So it's not the Australian Southern Cross, it's just Southern Cross. And I've got Carpe Diem just here. And a big tattoo of mother on my backside. Just mum. Just mum. <laughs> I'm kidding, but oh, yeah, I know. But, I, I would, you, Mum. I would. But <laughs> you know what? It, it was it was good while it lasted. <laughs> uh, the big uh, Mayor May is a big fan of Home Away. Been watching it for years, and now her three young girls are big fans too. So you're getting new generations all the time. Emer O'Driscoll, what does his wife think of all the female attention he gets? Marnie is absolutely amazing with the female fans. In fact, she's got her own little fan base herself. Um, it's her birthday on Thursday, Wednesday in Australia, Thursday here but um they've been giving her lots of presents and they've been so they're so um receptive it's been really great okay very good would you ever grow your hair back to the way it was when you were first on home and away yes but i'd keep my beard right it'd be for some viking movie or something. you like the beard <laughs> you like the beard okay uh, questions coming in how are you finding ireland so far so friendly so good and so lush the um the countryside is, is so beautiful and i'm getting a chance to see a lot of it and uh I'm heading but you down. are you're literally on a whistle stop tour for I'm, the I'm next so seeing everything you're literally going you're going to be appearing right across the country so if people don't see you today in man point there, uh, there's somewhere the, red carpet agency .net, if you guys there's still tickets available for people to, to, come, and say, to come and say, say hello g'day. To but uh, i think i'm meeting the whole country so we're great. <laughs> <laughs> who's dan's favorite actor hugh jackman oh really hands us, down not us. only because of what he's been able to accomplish as an actor but he's just such a nice guy yeah i, I just you, you meet people who he's worked with did you see him and in name is the women just do this <laughs> <laughs> but and just the, every 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 bloke you meet, guess, they just think he was the nicest guy. So hats off you, legend. Yeah, he was brilliant in Les Mis, I have to say. Have you learnt any Irish since you've been here? Um, I love all the slang that you guys have. Um, I only know rude Irish words. <laughs> so not, I not this say. time. So, no, um, yeah. I like to say. Um, Come here. I was like, oh, Kate Miller Falcher. What is that? What is that? <laughs> thousand welcomes. Oh, all right. Well, that's, that's nice. But um, I like uh, just the, the little things like your man, how's, how your boy, your man, that sort of thing. All right. Um, how's or, it going? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, or come here, as in, uh, oh, by the way, you know, come here. Or yeah, listen. come here and I tell you. Say, oh, yeah. Oh, come here. But like they kept, if you said that in Australia, oh, come here, people would be like, what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> come here. Like, come here. Or, or, you know, instead of saying, hey, oh, by the way, or, you know, something like that. It's quite funny. It's, it's interesting. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure to meet you. And I know you're going to be mobbed outside for photographs and lots of people queuing up to see you. And they're already queuing in Cork and Maham Absolutely. Point uh, right. down at, and uh, good luck with the Summer Bay or it, it sounds much. like it, uh, it's going to be a, a great success for the yeah. summer and uh, when it rains in a couple of weeks time they'll be all delighted to they go indoors come, they can come <laughs> anyway there's plenty to do and Dan of course you're going to be you're going to be around the country so people are going to get a chance to see you I'll be everywhere this is lovely. <laughs> thank you both for coming in now let's uh, go outside and see what uh, is in store fashion wise this morning